This is laying hens age 39 weeks. This chicken flock is suffering from a decrease in egg production and is followed by mild respiratory symptoms. This chicken flock decreased egg production from hen day 93% felt to 79% within four weeks. For an infectious disease this data decrease in egg production can be said to be rather slow. From observation of necropsy, not observed significant pathological symptoms. Normally the largest sized follicle is ready for ovulation to appear hyperemic. But if hyperemia in smaller follicles may indicate an infection of an agent of the disease. The shape and color of eggshell changed and not normal. Before the observed decrease in egg production, observe the first mild respiratory symptoms. Eggs were found without shell, then the production decline began to remat, then the eggshell color changes to white. Then changes in egg shape and color pale eggs and fragile shells shrink. But egg color begins to return to normal, brown. Eggs that have an abnormal shell shape are indicative of watery albumin. Some eggs have blood spots and meat spots on the albumin. These symptoms are often confused with symptoms of infectious bronchitis. At first glance looks very similar. The farm has 10 houses with multi-age system. The case of this disease starts from the house to 10. The chickens in this house was 24 weeks. Identified suffering from Newcastle disease, severe respiratory symptoms. Some found chickens with symptoms of torticalism and late production. Two weeks later, the same disease symptoms begin observed in house 3 and 4. At 32 weeks old chickens, no increase in daily mortality, few respiratory symptoms, no significant decrease in feed intake, but egg production decreased. Found two chickens with symptoms of torticollis. Zero conversion is very significant. From the first and second serum collection within 12 days in the same chicken. This is Newcastle disease.
At this time there is a new outbreak H9N2 in some areas. This is a horrendous issue, so if there is a problem of decreasing egg production in the farm, farmers are very worried about the outbreak of H9N2 virus in their farm. Sometimes a disease diagnosis is always associated with the virus. Yet after being investigated, it turns out they have disease problems commonly found in the field, such as Newcastle disease. Indeed, the H9N2 virus will be a serious problem in the future. We will discuss about it someday, but that does not mean the issue of Newcastle disease. Infectious bronchitis becomes unimportant. But clearly, the existence of the H9N2 virus, a new challenge for farmers. Okay, hopefully this information is useful for veterinary students and poultry farmers. We will always provide field information for discussion and learning in the next videos. Do not forget to subscribe and share this channel. Thank you.